What's up, everyone? This is Jess, aka DJ Play Play, here with Building Beats, a nonprofit that aims to provide music education for all. You can check us out on buildingbeats.org, and we're Building Beats on all social media platforms. Uh, today, I want to show you um, basically how to make a melody in Soundtrap. Soundtrap is a free browser based um, DAW, um, and you can do pretty much everything in this uh, digital audio workstation. Um, but today I specifically want to um, concentrate on melody making. So you could either just hop in here, you're in the studio, you could hop in here and just play the synth like outright, or you could come over here and access, um, let's see, piano and keyboards. I would say that's a melody maker, uh, guitar and bass. Um, not so much drum and beats, that's more rhythmic. Uh, synthesizer, strings, brass and woodwinds. All of those um, you can create melodies with just using your computer keyboard. You can also hook up a MIDI keyboard onto like to your computer and Soundtrap will recognize it, um, but you don't need that. Um, you can just use your computer keyboard. So let's go and start with piano, start basic. Um, so you'll see this come up, this uh, keyboard here. And you'll notice that, you know, G, H, J, L, 1, like these are definitely not keys, but these are corresponding to your computer keyboard. Um, so you will see C4, that is a key, that is a musical key. Um, that is the key of C, right? Um, and that's the fourth octave. Um, so, but you'll see right here that in order to play that, I'll need to play a comma. So I'm gonna press the comma on my computer keyboard going to play the key of C in the fourth octave. Um, you can scroll to the left or the right to turn down your octave. I like a lower octave, so I'll come over here for this. This right here. Um, so what I really want is I want to do like a, a chord. Um, so three, I'm going to press three keys um, in the key of C, and I want to do a C major um, chord. So basically, I want to do this. So that is the key of E. I'm pressing the Q on my uh, computer laptop. To get the key of G, I need to press the key of E on my um, computer laptop. So I'm going to do that right now. And let's see. Comma. There we go. Now I have my chord. Now I can just go over to one um, computer key on my keyboard for each of these notes. Over here. And now I can access. So literally just like head to the right one key. And then again. Okay. So now I want to record this. The first thing I want to do actually, since I don't have any kind of rhythm going yet, I don't have a, a, a drum beat or anything, uh, is to turn on the metronome. So that will help me keep time. Uh, I could change the BPM or the tempo. Um, so if I wanted, you know, something a little slower, I could move it to like 90, 100 BPM, but I'm going to keep it at 120 BPM for right now. Um, so that's my tempo, uh, beats per minute. And then for the metronome, I like I like it on the clav because it's um, basically it's loud louder than these other three, uh, so it'll help me keep time. And I'm gonna hit record, Just see what happens. Gives me a count in. So I can either X out of here and access it up here, or I can get a piano roll. And so wherever this purple marker is, I can zoom in and it's gonna go to wherever I set the marker. So here we go. I can make sure in place. I can even move You can also change what's called the velocity, um, and that's basically, you know, it kind of humanizes your melody. So if you were playing a piano, you would often play things, um, some keys louder or softer. Um, so 
velocity, you can click on this B and change it. Highest velocity. And I'm literally just drag, clicking it and dragging up and down on my trackpad. There you go. So anyway, it's velocity. Um, but I'll keep it where it is for right now. And I think what I'm going to do is add a third note over here. Let's see. Okay. So I know G, B, E might work. Let's find out. It might not, though. I kind of like it. All right. And then maybe I'm going to put something like drastically high up here. Just the key. Oh, my God. The key is up here yeah there we go all right cool so I have these three set where I want them and now I'm gonna X out and see it's like all the way let's see see here where it's all the way at the ninth bar we don't really need all that I want this just to be four bars so I'm gonna drag this loop right here Oh, sorry. No, the other one. This one right here. There we go. And I will also loop it twice. So we have nine bars worth of material. Then I can actually turn this metronome off now. We, I think we've got our rhythm. Have that. But now what I want to do is change the instrument. And this is the beauty of um, the way Soundtrap has it set up. So now I can go in and maybe I don't even want a keyboard. Maybe I want like a um, synthesizer. So you could do strings, brass and woodwinds. Um, but I'm going to go over here and do an 80s pad. There we go. So let's listen to this. Cool. Okay, so I have that. Um, now what I want to do is maybe put a beat to it. So let me just come over to these loops real quick. All right, say I wanted this. Yeah, so literally I could do um, any of these really. Um, so I can do this and then layer maybe another melody. I just want to make sure it's like something compatible with the key of C uh, so that, you know, um, we're not having any like harmonic dissonance or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, use your ears to guide you. Um, and you know, you can layer different melodies on top of each other. Um, usually with pads, you want to also complement it with like a lead. Um, so they have synth leads here. So you could actually go into synthesizer and look for leads. Um, they've also got rhythmics, rhythmic synths. And that's basically something that's got like what's called an arpeggiator on it. So let's see, for instance, let's come over here. It has like a sense of rhythm to it already. Sense of movement. Um, yeah. So that is melody making in Soundtrap 101. Um, all right. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please be sure to like and subscribe and follow us on social media. All platforms we are on as at Building Beats. And um, yeah, subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll come out with a lot more tutorials for you. Uh, and thanks for watching today.